God damn it, dude. Fuck, man. Flamingo Road. Let me get towards the goddamn Sawgrass Mall. I'm sorry, buddy. Man, I just got done riding through this uh, area called Motherfucking New. No, oh shit, I'm tripping. <laughs> YouTube family, boy Psychotic Heart here, coming at y'all with another motor vlog today. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys are wondering why it's been in the past couple of vlogs. I've been wearing the same shit, and I'm gonna tell you why right now. Because uh, if you watch my series about how to be a motor vlogger in part three, where I went over capturing footage with you guys, one of the key things I told you to do whenever you're out vlogging is uh, record multiple videos at one time. So though I'm wearing the same thing in multiple videos. This is still the same ride. Despite however many weeks it is between each fucking video I upload, this is all the same ride. It's the same day. It's still Saturday. Um, what the fuck is that? I think it's uh, August 13th today. This is the day that I'm out, that I'm out riding. Fuck. Ah, oh, grammar. Bitch, eat a dick. <laughs> but anyways, that's not what I want to talk to y'all about. So... I'm over there riding through Southwest Ranches. It's uh, it's like 12:30 something right now. So they playing the midday mix and shit on the radio. I'm over there jamming my fucking ass off. Then all of a sudden, my damn Bluetooth dies. Oh my god, man! I was jamming so fucking hard and my Bluetooth died. Fuck, man. But I, I can't be mad at anybody about it. Cause it it's, it's my fault, obviously, because. I use this Bluetooth every, uh, blue, I use my Bluetooth every day whenever I'm on my motorcycle my Bluetooth is on and I only charge the damn thing like once every week and a half or so because um I, I don't even though I be wanting to a lot of the times I don't get to go riding on the weekends very often or if I do it'll probably be like like you know what let me give you all a example um last weekend this weekend it just passed man um I wanted to get out and go fucking riding for the day, but unfortunately, I was only able to go for one ride. I went, I rode up to the bank to get some money to give it to my wife and stuff, and that was on Sunday now. So that took me about 20 minutes to do that. When I came back home, I, I didn't go riding anymore. It got hot as fuck. It was in the goddamn 90s. It was down near 100 degrees that day. So I was like, man, fuck that. I ain't going nowhere. Staying my black ass inside. I'm already black enough. See shit. Look at my damn arms. You see, you see my form? Now look at this. This is the complexion I'm supposed to damn be. Shit. The fuck? My arms already get tan. Black as fuck because I uh, work out in the sun every damn day. Well, Monday through Friday anyways. Yahoo! Love when the lights turn green the moment we pull up to a <laughs> Welcome to Day V, Florida! Is that a boat? No, that's a guy on a... I got these shades. I got them dark ass fucking shades. Yeah. Okay. I'm wearing dark shades underneath my tinted fucking visor, so I got double tint action going on right now. So even though I can see some things, it's uh, a little difficult to make them out. My eyes are my eyes are okay, but they're not perfect. I do have prescription glasses, as you guys should know. I just don't wear them while I'm riding. Why? Because. I just don't want to fucking wear them, that's why. Fuck, A-star. Yeah, oh my god, man. I'm gonna bring my wife over here and we're gonna cruise through Southwest Ranches one of these days. When I get my money, I would love to live out there. The reason being, the houses are nice. And yes, from what I from what I seen and estimated, each house was on at least two acres of land. And for those of you who don't know, one acre is the equivalent of 43,560 feet. So multiply that by two, it's like 80, what is it, like uh, 87,000 square feet of land that would be all mine to own and do it with whatever the fuck I want. And I would love to fucking do that. I mean, ideally, me and my wife would want to move up north to um, this place called Port St. Lucie. It's really nice up there. We uh, got in the monster. We drove up there a number of times on the weekends just to ride around looking at houses that we see online and stuff. So, but we usually uh, do that all in a single day. Like we'll ride up there, 
spend a few hours on the road going around looking at houses and stuff then we come back home now the downside is no we do not have the money to actually be able to buy one of these houses as of yet but what we're doing is we're pretty much fucking researching and scouting out the areas and stuff you know looking at places that we want to move there within driving distance for us now it would be nice to go over there one day like spend a whole day riding around check into a hotel then uh the following day just go have fun and explore the amenities and stuff but we're not worried about that kind of stuff right now we're mostly just worried about finding us an actual home first but with us about to have a baby that's gonna make things a little bit harder yo 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 just a bit my wife she's been freaking out about it every now and then saying Oh my god, it's gonna be so hard once we have a baby. Blazer, 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 blazer. I'm like, baby, calm your ass the fuck down. You make it seem like our life just comes to a 100% halt just because we have a child. No, my life ain't coming to no halt. I'm still gonna have fun. Uh, we're still gonna be going out every now and then. And we're gonna enjoy ourselves. Just because you have a baby doesn't mean your life has, a 100, has completely changed. I mean, granted, uh, ow, what the fuck was that? A fuck? Damn. I mean, granted, uh, ow, what the fuck was that? A fuck? Damn. Ow. That fucking hurt. Shit, fucking bug or something just slapped me right on my damn left shoulder. That shit sting. Ah, damn. Motherfucker. Anyways, what I was saying was, um, yeah, a couple things, yeah, of course a few things are going to change in your life once you have a fuck, once you, um, bring a baby, a child into the equation, but, <clears throat> I get so tired of people saying, oh, don't worry, you, you, you going to start spending all the money, baby, going to take all your money, yada, 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 like, dude, chill the fuck out. People make it seem a lot worse than it actually is. Yes, this is going to be my first child, so I know some of y'all are going to put down in the comments, if you if this is gonna be your first child, how do you know? Alright, listen here, man. I make more money than a lot of the people I know, okay? I'm not gonna tell you guys exactly how much, but I make more money than a lot of the people that I know. And I can guarantee you, here some of the people I know, I'm gonna do alright, one couple I know, they have two children, they're both working two jobs, right? Now, the wife just recently went to the National Guard, so they're going to be good on money and stuff. But when she wasn't, before she did all that, let's see, if I'm not mistaken, he was making like um, 12 or 13 an hour. She was making like 15 an hour. Okay. Now, I, she was making 15 an hour. I, wait, I make way more than $15 an hour, okay? Well, I wouldn't necessarily say way more. All right, let me give you guys a hint, okay? I make more than 15, less than 20. Just a little less than $20 is what I make. I'm not gonna tell you exactly how much, but just a little less. All right, and then, so they got that and they raised two children. I make a little less than $20 an hour. My wife makes 13 a fucking hour. So, fat and low, land together, we're up to over, um, shit, we're damn near 30 something dollars an hour between the two of us, okay? So, if we're making that much money, and we're able to support ourselves. Bringing a child into it shouldn't make things too much difficult, okay? I'm not saying life is gonna be easy as fuck, okay? And let me, I'm not, let me let y'all know. I'm not trying to downplay having a child. I'm just saying that she's overreacting, making it seem a lot worse than what it truly is. That's all I'm saying. But anyways, I don't know how the fuck I got into a topic of uh, children and shit with this damn vlog. <laughs> Hey man, if y'all enjoyed the video, leave me a like down below, man. Subscribe to my channel, support me in the things I do, you know? But in the meantime, it's me, boy, Sakai Heart. Peace out, motherfuckers. Yeah! Come on, you fucking light turn green. Come on, you motherfucker turn green! God damn it! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> This <laughs> is...